Bex, Justin Inacio for Archers, Alex Woodall making the start today. Small sample size, only 8 of 13 on the season, but at 62%. Let's see what Woodall can do with a full game. Yeah, they've relied a lot on Stephen Kelly, who's not in the lineup today. So it's all on Woodall. Can he withstand the type of pressure and deal with this heat? Archers in orange, cannons in white. We are underway here in Connecticut. Archers and Cannon, and ever since he was a freshman at Albany, he's been on the top, you know, in bold letters underlined on the scouting report. Every single game he plays, and he still makes an impact. Great move. Make it 2 nothing. Weaving to play both sides, but you're not in a rush to get him off the field. Two goals in 10 seconds for Cannons. Another face-off win for Alex Woodall. I know it's still relatively early in the season, only five games in. This is game number six, but for Cannons, they're at the way bottom of the PLL standings. They've come out with a Marcus Holman. Here you are, you light up the All-Star game with seven points, you win the accuracy challenge, and you come in, you miss your first shot. You're only as good as your last yes. shot, right? You know that. He's a perfectionist. And Cannons, shot Ooh. out of a cannon wow. to start this game. First flag of the afternoon flies. Woodall got hammered. Nine and white. Face-off specialist for the Cannons. Just took one right under the chin. Get our progressive game flow to see the head. Yeah, that's got to be called. Close to helmet to helmet. That will be up to the ref. The Play is going to be under review. Take a look at Alex Woodall. He wins the clamp. He goes for the exit. And that is just a brutal shot. And because it was a check to the head, this is a full one-minute penalty, unreleasable, even on a goal. Yeah, you don't normally see Jared Connors do that. He played the wing a ton at the University of Virginia in college, right? So he's accustomed to, to sizing up a face-off specialist in terms of when he can make that impact. That's one of those offensive guys with a defensive pole. You have to respect him when he's in the middle of the field. Adasio, a slow start for the faceoff X, wins this one, takes it to Cage. It'll stay Archer's way. Craft, the overall growth of the sport in terms of connecting with the youth. Grant Ament is a fantastic lacrosse player, but even a better ambassador for the game. He's always locked in. Adasio wins the faceoff, took it right to Cage. Danny to Holman. And if you've got a double fields, that leaves your defense totally exposed for Manny and Holman, and they will make you pay. Almost another goal, inches away. Rings off the pipe, and now if he's an artist, he's Da Vinci. He's doing things that nobody else is doing. And how many guys could pull off the bounce pass after the interception like him? Lyle. <laughs> Not like Lyle Thompson. Like, you think you're playing good defense on them, and then just bam, the top hand, the wrist action, hyperspeed. Move it, move it. 5'11", 205, using that body to score. And Lyle Thompson delivers the immediate answer. That's a first-half hat trick. You're seeing two generational stars in this game. And they're back and forth. Tom Schreiber, one of the best middies of all time. Lyle Thompson, I mentioned earlier, on my Mount Rushmore, is one of the top four ever to pick up a lacrosse stick. He is on fire today. He's feeling his groove. He understands that the archers, I think they're playing him to kind of dodge off of that spot, right? We're seeing him shoot from the outside a lot today. We saw it in the first quarter, the second quarter, the time and room shots of Lyle Thompson. From the looks of it, Jay, he's healthy, and if he's healthy, the cannons are different. Now we touched on it earlier, but those three weeks with the bye, and the all-star break, which Thompson elected not to play in. You can come back really refreshed and make a difference. Three of goals off of quick dodges has been as good as anyone in the league. He's leading the league in unassisted goals heading into the weekend. And although Schreiber set that up more, had to beat his defender. Three goals in less than from a year ago in the PLL, his season debut. Not off to the strong start that people may have expected. The archers could add another element. Ignacio continues to be dialed in at the faceoff X. Despite archers trailing by three, Ignacio has won seven of the last. Followed right in the footsteps of Lyle Thompson. 
carried that torch incredibly well for the Great Danes, and now getting the face-off against him at the professional ranks. How cool must that be? His opponents thinking that he's going to the box to sub for an offensive player. He stays on and it pays dividends. Yo, with Harris and Trey LeClaire, two short stick defensive midfielders. Three goals in 51 seconds. Two of them belong to Connor Fields. And another faceoff win. That's really shifted this game. Archers have won 10 of 11 from the faceoff. Let's hear from Connor Fields now with Chantel. Three goals in 51. You are a huge PLL fan. I know you watched the Redwoods win yesterday. You're a huge fan of Miles Jones, but also you had a little chime in there on Jules Hennenberg. Insane goal. What'd you think? Yo, this is great, guys. I got the chance to meet Miles and Jules. This is what we were saying in the first half. Archers just don't look right. And now that flow has come back and they are feasting. And, and that's what you wait for with the Archers, right? Like they don't make the easy pass. They make the difficult pass, but they're so proficient in doing that because they... He's still able to make a move with his stick at the last second and with power behind it. A lot of people would be falling. Maybe he can fling something weak on Cage. Power to beat Gittleman. 60 mile an hour bouncer to the offside. Caught him off guard. Two pointer. First goal of the season. This is a Cannons team. They've only had one two point goal all season long, and they get it there. Out as a goal scorer and a shooter, that time as a passer. Unsettled play, one by Holman. And he's done in terms of respecting the game, and the way that he's played has made him a living legend. And even though the third team is efficient as any player in the PLL. And what a change it is for Matt Moore. And there, there, there's a lot of talent at the University of Virginia, no doubt about it, but he was at the top of all those scouting reports. Now you got... Amen. This is what the PLL is all about. The best on the planet sharing a field every game this weekend has delivered. And we've still got 11 minutes left in this one. It just feels like it's going to come down to the wire. Both offenses dialed in Morocco. He's got five assists to his name. Entered the weekend leading the league in points with 22. Adds five points of that tally today. Another face-off win, which has been the catalyst for Archers today. Ignacio doing a terrific job. And another goal! Oh, you can't be hotter than the Archers are right now. He makes that move, and as he's turning, he's passing to Tom Schreiber, who's coming out of the box. That's where they found the numbers game. And it's a hat trick for Schreiber today to go along with one assist. Ignacio wins the face-off again. Behind the back, and the goal! It's all archers in this fourth quarter. Turf, though. No, he was going to, to reach off. for it. Yeah. So what they should do is review that. Because then the goal would count. You have to throw the challenge. Yeah, he had not thrown it. You can't hold on to it. You got to throw it. Who both can shoot, but they are grossly underrated as passers. You know what's the best thing about that? Is all the pressure was applied to his front side. It was the right shot. That wasn't like some fancy shot that he was showboating. All that pressure was on the front side. He used the front side momentum to spin and shoot with the shovel. And it's can't collect the ground ball. Goes to their games. Oh, that's awesome. My son Grace is at the game. When he found out Kreider was here, his eyes lit up. <laughs> Rushed the field, saw Chris, got another picture with him. He's an amazing hockey player, but a great ambassador and a person that understands third quarter. That time, as a scorer and a shooter, his fake passes literally are just hitting a pause button and, and allowing him to have a fraction of a second to, to make that move. If archers play like they did in this second half, 13 goals, not a lot of errors as they move on to the Vineyard Vines.